In this segment, Dr. McGarry will demonstrate surgical extraction and immediate implant placement. Pauline is our second patient this morning. Pauline is going to ha also have implant therapy on a tooth that has a failing endodontic um, restoration. The endodontics perhaps is okay, but she broke out tooth number 11. This is Pauline many years ago before she had restoration on her posterior right area with implants. And now today she's restored, but number 11 has now failed. And what we have is a situation here with a fractured tooth, a temporary post, and a failing diagnosis for normal restoration. Now could you do a three and a bridge here? Usually laterals would not be considered to be a great abutment in this area for a three unit bridge supporting a cuspid. Our choice of treatment here is extraction and placement of immediate implant. So our crown comes off. Let's take a look at the CAT scan again. The ICAD image gives us so much information with which to make this diagnosis and is a wonderful teaching aid. As you can see, we have a fairly thick alveolar wall in the area of the cuspid, so we should have good uh, thickness for the bone. And you can see we do have palatal bone, palatal to um, tooth number 11 that's going to be removed. We're ready to get started now. We have anesthesia on board. We've checked our monitors. Let's go ahead and take a look at the x-ray now and get a pre-op of what we're going to do. As you can see on the monitor, we've put a little schematic in Dex implant over the x-ray here. It shows us that, again, we're probably going to want to re-angulate this implant when we take out number 11. 11 has had a failed root canal and, uh, and uh, with a fracture or the post out and the decision now is to go to an implant restoration as you will see later she actually has a very large implant re uh, reconstruction on her upper right and so she's done well has a good historical record with implant therapy but as you can see again uh, the need to re-angulate the implant through past the extraction site is a pretty common effect when you're placing these anterior implants so let's get started with that. We're going to be taking out number 11. Let's get that large retractor for me. Do we have that? Okay, we'll go to Minnesota right now. And for those of you who are just beginning your surgical career, if you're just starting that, it is important to start to learn to use retractors rather than your fingers. Um, it's always easy to perhaps give what God gave to us first, but you'll find over the years it's much better to go ahead and learn to use these instruments. And one of the best ones for this, let's switch to this large horseshoe type retractor, and this you can get through Salvin. Um, open for me. Um, surgical supplies. And this is a marvelous retractor. It comes in and will help us hold out both sides, both on the upper and the lower, as you saw me use it before in our other patient, and gives us a nice view without too much pressure on the lips. We can actually retract pretty fully and not cause quite as much pinching as we normally would. So we're going to be talking about number 11 here, and this is going to be coming out, and again we're going to do a typical periosteal release and see if we can get this to, to elevate out very um, easily. If you look very closely you might be able to see a little scar tissue up here where she had previous work done up here. If you look very closely there's just a little bit of a scar band connective tissue so what we need to be careful if we, if we need to raise a flap here this might give us some cause for concern. But right now we're in great shape. We'll go ahead and start with our Peritone. And as you saw on the pictures before that we've shown you on the pre-op, this was a fractured tooth. And luckily, I had Dr. Bama um, did put a temporary post in for us until the patient could be appointed for this procedure. So we just carefully come around, separate those fibers. And you want to take your time to be thorough here. And you might be able to see I'm going pretty deeply on the palate to make sure we get that well. And again, one of your elevators. Again, we're using the Luxator system. And we're going to give that a little tug. 